okay I think it looks looks good now right looks good now now since we put it in layers now I can always go back here actually you don't need to go go there we can actually go here and then we can uh, this one is the visibility the green one is the visibility of the layer so I can click on this one which is the Twitter image there and turn it on okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the the square not sure if that's a square but yeah I think it's a square okay so so now I click on my square or rectangle it's going to make um, I'll just do it manually here specify corner okay escape first so I click on my rectangle tool specify start corner so okay so I'll type in okay I'll make it here first okay so click that okay I'm just gonna close that one I hit the F1 anyway I'm just gonna move that so your move tool is here so let's move I'm gonna move this one here there uh, okay now you can still edit that you can you can edit that but I think it's best if you make it let's do it again so square a rectangle and I'm gonna start here oh no I know why because it snaps over here right it snaps so I'll turn over the e snap and an e track first okay, so I'll click on rectangle and now I'm going to create the the rectangle okay so I think that is pretty good and I'll turn on e snap and e track again okay now we're going to fillet that same as the one we did here so we go to fillet here and then uh, since it's a polyline okay we'll type in P for polyline where I'm gonna explain that later in my video other videos but okay I'll type in P for polyline and then specify polyline it's this one here okay so what happened here because this one is already three radius so it did for the whole one okay I'm gonna do on control Z now let's do the longer way so I click on the fillet and then I'll type in R for radius hit enter and it's 0 0.3 0 0.3 works fine okay so I'll type in 0 0.3 or you can just hit enter too okay and then I can also click on one by one so one here and then one here and one here okay and then I grip right mouse click and then repeat fillet see this is the longer way okay when you're doing right mouse click the first option here is the last command that you did okay so repeat fillet click this one here and then this right mouse click repeat fillet this and this very nice now same thing offset okay so offset tool is this one here so click on offset okay specify the distance we're going to make a distance so well, it's, it's here it's this one so click and then click there okay now it says source of entity so it's this one here and then which side is going out there you notice it because it's a polyline I mean it's a square it's a rectangle so all of it went out I didn't do it one by one but this one it's not a polyline that's why we did it like that okay now we need one more offset so we click on but see the distance is different that's why you have to change the offset again offset distance so you click on offset uh, offset distance is this I'm manually doing it click here source of entity which is this one here and then which uh, side outside or inside you want outside there okay now if I go here go to my layers and I'm going to turn off the visibility of the Twitter image there 
Very nice. Now I'm ready. So what I'll do, I am going to I'm going to freeze the Twitter image. Just gonna freeze there. Okay. Because my understanding if you freeze it. Uh, okay, what is this? I'm not sure what that is. Okay, my understanding is if we freeze it, um, when we export it, it won't be included. So I go to File and then Export, and again we go to Corel Draw Model, select, and there, click OK. So I just put here Twitter, hit Enter. It's exporting. Okay, now I'm going to go to my Corel Draw, which is this one here. Uh, I'm just going to click on New here. Now, actually, I don't need to click on New. See, the good thing here is I can just open that file because it's a Corel Draw file. Not like before when I'm exporting an AutoCAD file, I have to export it as Windows Meta file so that I can import it in Corel Draw. But now I can just open it. So, File Open, and it's this one here and click open and there you go very nice okay now I'm going to see if the because I'm still new in Corel CAD I'm just gonna see if the if we can go to my object manager here yeah oh, it's amazing it's amazing because it retained the layers in Corel CAD which is really useful Right. So this one, if I want to turn on my my Twitter image, it's still there. <laughs> I love that. So I'm going to remove that. The what do you call this? The edit, so that I can edit it. Because remember, when it came in, it was locked because I locked the layer in Corel CAD, right? So which means to say, everything you do in Corel CAD. Once you bring it here, if you make layers in Corel CAD, if you lock it, the layer, if you make it uh, hidden, once you bring it to Corel Draw, it would still uh, do the same properties. Okay. Anyway, I'll just move that here because now we we can color it. I'm just going to close this one. We don't need those layers anymore. Okay. So now we're gonna color it. Okay. So this one. Just to make it short, I mean the the video short, I'm just going to do a quick shortcut here. So it's all vector. Okay. The this one, all of these can be colored once. Okay. It's all combined object except for this tweeter. But no problem because we have the handy smart fill tool. So click on smart fill tool. Click on this one, we'll just specify a different color. For now, we usually do it gray first. Okay. And then the next one would be let's say lighter gray for this. Okay. So I have that already. Okay, now I can what I'll do, I'll click on my color eye dropper, click on that, and then there. And then I know this is white, so you know what? I'll just make this white. And then this color okay, there. Okay, what happened here? Because I'll have to make this two back, so control page down to make it two back. And then these two here, what I can do, I can combine them. Combine. And then I'll get the color of this and then pour it here. Okay. So it's, it's looking close. I'm gonna remove the outline, remove the outline of this. You can also remove all the outlines of this. All right, I'll just select all of that and remove the outline. Okay, it's looking good. Now with this one, I'm not sure if this is okay. I will do okay. Sure, if we can do that one. Let's make an interactive fill here. So click going up. I'm not sure if that's the color. Maybe close, close to that. That's okay. I'll just go it that way. I won't do it exactly. So I'm gonna show you. So this one is actually 
a line so I'm just going to make that's for your highlights in that way and then what I'll do I will copy this one I what I do this image and this one click on that that's the one I wanted so I'm just going to control C copy that and then I'll put it in page 2 and then paste it because the only thing I need here is this part here and one of my favorites smart fill tool and delete this now delete this I only need this one right make that red first and then control C copy that go back to page one I can delete this now and then paste now when I'm doing a paste I can call it a white because that's our highlight right now see I'm not sure if it, this is full transparency but let's try to click on transparency here and click and drag going down down uh, down okay so it's a little bit too transparent that will work I think yeah I think that will work anyway anyway this is the original this is what we did this is vector okay anyway we can still make this like see this one here that's the highlight you can still make that uh, we should have done that in Corel CAD but anyway we can do it here too so we're going to go contour going in right so that's going in here that's a big distance so I'm gonna small distance that's only for our highlight actually I think that's good now we go to arrange break contour apart and now what we can do is going to make that white and then we go to make it transparent transparent here okay now I think we have to make this one I think it's an interactive feel we have to make that higher there to make it a little bit visible the highlight that's close I mean it's not really perfectly close but oh I forgot the drop shadow drop shadow a little drop shadow we can adjust that uh, we can adjust that that's pretty good there now I can delete this now what we have achieved here is we use two Corel software we use CAD Corel CAD to to vectorize the logo and then we export it as a Corel draw file open it up in Corel draw and color it did some effects transparency that's it thank you for watching